Hey there you guys, um, I've decided to do a tutorial on making normal maps and alpha maps for your textures because I had a hard time finding good tutorials. I actually had to find a tutorial that told me what I needed to do that was like in the middle of it. I had to search for it. it was just, I was lucky to be able to remember that I needed to do this from this tutorial and I couldn't find one anywhere else. And uh, anyways, for this you're going to need GIMP. I'll put this link in the description you'll hit this button right here the download button and download it install it and once you do that you'll go into uh, on the other link you'll go it'll take you here and you want to uh, download one of these two files here and once you get done with that uh, in the instructions on installing the plugin the two DDL files, you want to put them in this directory. And uh, there's still some bugs with it. Like, I couldn't do the uh, 3D preview. And uh, if anybody knows maybe a little bit better, I might try to uninstall and reinstall the program and then reinstall the plugin because I tried to do it normally. I didn't know I had to do this. But uh, once you get all that installed, you'll open up GIMP. And as you can see, I've already done these two here. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to do a new, okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the texture I want to use, which is this. I'm going to open it. And then uh, first thing you're going to do is if you install it right you'll go over here to filters and then all the way down to map and then to normal maps is it the 3d preview might work for you um, apparently this here's already been adjusted for me and this has been adjusted from the last time I did it and uh, you'll probably turn this up to about three you'll maybe want to do a little bit of experimenting to see how it is and adjust this and do a little bit of experimenting to see how it works. But once you get those adjusted, hit OK, it'll load, and come up to a normal map. I hit Control, come in here, and just middle mouse wheel it in. And you can see it's just use the different color variations to give a different kind of texture to it. Once you do that, you want to go back through and reopen the same file. You'll have this, and to make the alpha map, you're going to go into colors, desaturate by luminosity, and then hit OK. You go back to colors, and you want to hit brightness and contrast. You pull this up, and I like to turn contrast up pretty high. Maybe turn this down, turn it up, turn it up. Basically, what you're wanting to do is try to get the cracks without getting too much of the surface. Some of it's going to be real hard to avoid. Just like right. I'm going to go ahead and try this one too. Um, you have to do a little bit of experimenting with this. Like I said, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, any feedback on tips or advice would be muchly appreciated. But hit OK. Go in here. File. Export as. Yep, file export as okay and then just rename it so you don't save over the original file I usually delete these reference numbers from the website I get these textures from CG textures by the way you can sign up and get free textures there and uh, this one here I'll name normals enter export and then on this, do the same thing for this one. Export as, except for instead of naming this one normal, name this one alpha. Okay, I'm gonna have to do two because apparently I named it exactly the same. But apparently this is the third one I've done. Okay. See this one does. There it is. Alright. And then export that. 
and that is all there is to it. Uh, here a little bit later on, I'm going to do a video on applying these textures. It'll be time lapse. You kind of have to pay attention. And uh, if you guys got any advice on my work workflow on how to improve my workflow, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching these tutorials and happy blending.